Welcome back everyone to another video and this one we will be taking a look at graphics performance between two very old devices and which should have probably come earlier but uh, I seem to have forgotten about. First we have the Rose Apple Pie. Now this was single board computers that I have officially reviewed. This was uh, uh, based on the Action Semi S500. Now this was one of the few uh, development boards that actually had a graphics driver for Linux so you can run uh, graphic applications on the GPU rather than software rendering and at that time it was running an SGX544 from PowerVR now it is a 32 nanometer dual core chip with around a frequency of 200 megahertz not extremely impressive but I really wanted to benchmark it against something and what could be better than a Raspberry Pi 3. Now Raspberry Pi 3 is a fairly recent device but the GPU on it is extremely old. So the GPU is from 2010 and that is exactly when the uh, PowerVR SGX544 was launched uh, and again the Raspberry Pi also has a a dual core configuration of a Broadcom video core 4 GPU which actually runs at about 300 megahertz or something like that so a hundred megahertz more than the power we are SGX but it is also at the 40 nanometer device node honestly I really wanted to go ahead and do this benchmark on something like GL mark 2 but uh, one of the shortcomings of having a pre-built binary graphics driver for something like an ARM CPU is that you don't get, you don't necessarily get the full-fledged Linux support and the GL Mark II benchmark kept on crashing and the GL Mark II ES2 benchmark which should have run properly uh, didn't seem to compile at all. So anyways what we are going to test this on is Open Arena, it's a Quake 3 based uh, open source game uh, and it's freely available to download and play on Linux and we'll be running one of its internal demos and just simply seeing how the FPS or frames per second performance is and we'll be doing it side by side so there is not a lot to it uh, when the benchmark starts both the Raspberry Pi and the Rose Apple Pi actually uh, start off to uh, in mid 20s so around 25 fps uh, however as the benchmark proceeds the uh, raspberry pi kind of stays at the early 30s to mid 30s maxing out at and just randomly spiking to around 40 fps uh, not much more than that now on the rose apple pie side of things we started at uh, 25 fps average then moved up to 30s uh, mid 30s that's where it stayed for most of the time but rose apple pie also saw a long duration of mid 40s and uh, early 50s so around 45 fps 51 52 fps it did stay there for quite a while more than the raspberry pi instead of spiking up uh, and it did spike up to around 60 fps at times so the basic conclusion is the power vr sgx544 may seem to perform a bit better than the video core 4 but you do also have to uh, take into consideration that that is a fully developed uh, and binary package rather than uh, what we have on the raspberry pi which is uh, we are running on Mesa 13 which is still under development it's still not a fully developed driver and still uh, often referred to as the experimental uh, GL driver for the Raspberry Pi uh, and we were not using the pre-built binaries so that was about it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one